Super 7 Ab Shredder. Volume three, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And just like the previous videos, you can do one exercise a day for 30 seconds, which is just as good, but make sure you do it first thing in the morning. Or you can do all seven exercises, which is about four minutes of work. You're gonna follow along with me. We're gonna do it together. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna begin in laying on your back, feet up, stamp that ceiling. So in the previous video, I talked about doing that leg lower kick up. Now, I like this exercise again because it's working a different part of the abs. We're working into the pelvis. And when I press up and try and do a little bit of a pause at the top, I actually feel that kind of around the belly button and down. So whereas a crunch, you feel it from the top part of your abs into the middle of your belly button. Well, I feel like this exercise is working the opposite. All right, so we worked that lower part of the abs. We're gonna keep our feet in the air. If you need to bend your knees, feel free to bend your knees but we're gonna put our hands up and we're gonna crunch up. Now, I don't want you to just be crunching small. Yes, that kind of burns, but I want you to get full range of motion and I want you to try to reset those shoulders every single time. You don't have to rush through this exercise. What you wanna do is challenge yourself to feel that stretch into those abs and then drive all the way up as high as you can to really isolate again from that upper arm all the way to the middle of the belly button. Upper ab to the middle of the belly button. Good. All right, we're gonna st stack on the side. If you need to modify, you can go on your knees like this. Otherwise, I like to put my hand down, flatten on my body, go kind of like on the side of my feet and make a straight line on the side of your body, okay? So you're gonna go straight line on the side of your body and all you're doing is working as a stabilizer here and you're driving those hips up. When you're doing this, it's almost like doing that kick up where it works everything below the belly button. But the nice thing about this is it's working the sides, so your obliques. So this is gonna give you a trimmer waistline. And we're gonna go to the other side. Good, other side. So again, you can go on your knees if you need to, but I wanna challenge you to get better at utilizing your body efficiently. You can have your hand down for support and all you're doing is up and squeezing up and squeezing, okay? So squeeze that side oblique, focus on that squeeze into the obliques. There you go. That's it, now drive it up. And again, we're working on the muscles that just sit above the hip bones and below your ribs, okay? Below your ribs, called your obliques. Eight seconds, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Three, two, good. All right, we're gonna lay on our stomach. So prone here, and we're gonna lift the opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? I like to look back down on my hands, keeping that chest up. And these are called prone swimmers, okay? So we're gonna work all the way basically from the tops of your shoulders, and then it goes across the body. So from my right side, my left leg, it's actually going from basically my right thumb all the way down to the left big toe. And so it's working like an X in your low back, okay? But also in your upper back, and your glutes and your hamstrings because they're working all together at one. Good. All right, so from here, we're gonna lay on our back and we're gonna lay flat, okay? So modification, just let your body rest, coming across body, but otherwise, you wanna challenge yourself. We're gonna get up there and we're gonna touch one foot at a time. Now, for me personally, I like to go nice and slow, in control, coming across that body and touching the toes, okay? Touching the toes, so reaching across, get up onto that tailbone, and touch one foot at a time. One foot at a time. Working those obliques, you're also working the abs, and the hip flexors, one more. All right, now, last one here, put your thumbs underneath your tailbone, legs are gonna go up. Modification, if you have a bad back, just bend the knees. But otherwise, we're gonna work on a leg lower because we're gonna stretch out that low ab. So nice and controlled. So I usually go about two to three seconds on the way down and then about one to two seconds on the way up. Feel that stretch as you go down and then engage the core as you go up. Make sure you have no pain in your back. Minimize the amount of arching that's happening in your back. If your back is extremely arched, go, don't, don't go down the entire way. Just go down enough to feel that stretch. Drive it up. So slow down, drive it up, give me one more, boom. There you go, baby. 
seven days, shredding, volume three, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Do one exercise a day or do all seven daily, which is about four minutes of work, and we're gonna get you those abs.